is if we haven't got a competitive team, because we have got rid of all the players for mm. cheating, mm. Um, then TV stations will pay far less because Australia won't be very competitive. Mm. Australia are competitive, especially when we play in India, that's where the big TV deal is. If we're sending over guys that aren't going to be able to stand up in those conditions, mm. they'll be and small. Lucky for them, the CBA was done long before this happened yeah. as well. So. Got their new contracts and their, all their money <laughs> locked down before this disaster. Uh, one thing, you know, Steve Smith may have opened up um, when it comes to players being stood down, suspended, etc., is that really, from what he said, you'd have to suspend the entire leadership group. Yeah, 100%. Why not? I think effective immediately. I'm yeah. not sure as to why that's it. not happened. Yeah. yeah. But, but it's, well, can I just give you one other point? So you'll yeah. suspend them all from Australian cricket? The law is going to play IPL, make lots more money than they're making for Cricket Australia. So if, you, if it's a money type mm -hmm. thing that we're worrying about, they're not making the money here. They're just going to travel around the world playing 2020 cricket, making twice as much because they're all fantastic players. That's not in question. So. Well, and is that half the problem? I mean, they do the wrong thing, get a rap over the knuckles, but what? It's a. It doesn't stop them doing anything. Doesn't stop them making money. Doesn't stop them playing cricket. No, because it's market driven. Like it's a market force. If the market's there for your commodity, and that is cricket ability, then you go around so and play around the world. So why would they stop doing the wrong thing? Is my point. Well, you've got to, they've got to understand that, that the game's more important than winning. Well, they've got to look after sponsors too, you know. There's a, there's a massive damage. To well, that, that's, that's, where they, that's where they might personally get hit in the pocket, some of their mm. personal sponsors. Mm. Uh, New Who Balance, want to be Smith, assessed, Ray yeah. Nichols for David Warner. Uh, you know, LG TV. How many times have you seen David talking about his LG TV? Maybe they you might... You really think we'll be talking about this in six months? Probably not. Yeah, so, oh, you know... There's, there's your answer. People Do you know what? I actually think we will be. Because I don't think it's we one will. of those things that no. is not... As we were talking about before, you can't tell me that the legacy of these players isn't now that they're cheats. Yeah, there'll be things brought up in games and that type of stuff. But for the next six months, we'll be talking about the next football player does something wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that we'll focus on that. Well, hopefully, we need the code we don't, we'll be talking about great football games. And that's... We talk about the left-arm bowler from Pakistan who actually was cheating in a match, deliberately bowling no balls and stuff, and he had two years out and he comes back and I'm pretty sure I was at the game and the commentators, oh, what a bowler, geez, this bloke's a, you know, a superstar and all this type of stuff. So time does heal a lot of wounds, but I think this is a bigger issue. I do. Yeah. Um, whether I agree with that or not, I don't know, but it is a bigger issue for most people, as we're reading here from the tweets. Mm. And it was such a blatantly stupid thing to do. I think that needs to be a component of Cricket Australia's investigation. It's not just the cheating, but the blatant stupidity of it as well. What kind of culture uh, forces you... I, I don't want to say forces, uh, but, you know, because that sounds like it's apologetic in itself. Mm. But what kind of culture makes you behave like that? I don't know. Anyway...